My name is Rama Ali and I'm a student at McMaster University studying business. I am a self-taught coder in over 13 different languages. My goal for the future is to make accessibility and technology inclusive for all. I grew up in Hamilton, Ontario with my two sisters and my mom and dad. Growing up was very challenging due to the visual impairment because a lot of different activities that I wanted to do when I was younger, since I'm very social, I couldn't participate in because it was hard to see and keep up with my peers. I felt really, really out of touch. I think the hardest thing was just fitting in and wanting to be accepted and wanting to be treated like everyone else. After I received eSight, my world completely changed because I actually got to see the definition of how everything looks and not just have a blurry vision. If I wanted to zoom, adjust your color, your contrast, it was really defined and clear. I think that people take for granted, especially when you have 20-20 vision, you can see the definition of how everything looks on a nice sunny day. And for me, I would know that the weather is nice, I would know that it's sunny, but I really wouldn't get to see the detail of what it's like. I honestly thought to myself, hey, sky's the limit. Now all those coding projects I set aside that will take me months to develop because I take breaks that are really long because of my eye strain, now I can take them on at full force and develop my programming skills and become better. So I applied to Hack Harvard 2018. After I applied, they said, congratulations, you got in. I was so ecstatic. So I went to Harvard for three days and it was just so exciting because I got to meet students from all around the world. We were up for a lot of nights. It was three nights of coding actually. And I didn't get much sleep, but when I was working on my project and coding with the other developers, I actually said to myself, wait a minute, I'm doing this by myself without taking any eye strain breaks, without feeling dizzy, without feeling like I'm not confident enough, without working with screen readers. But with eSight, it was one application and I got to control the settings and the zoom without controlling any type of software. So after Hack Harvard ended, I got a chance to meet different people from different companies, from Facebook to Microsoft and I told them about myself and how I want to make the world accessible. I want to make sure that the future is in the hands of persons that are blind and partially sighted and create an inclusive future through education, that is through advocacy, and that is through community building to make accessibility and technology inclusive for all.